Jack Russell is a, it's a really interesting story because they're one of the best known of all British breeds and they've been around you know, for most of the previous century. Um, but the breed hasn't ever been recognised in this country. It's been really developed in, uh, in overseas countries. So although it's existed in this country, no, no one's actually ever come to us and said that they would like the dog recognised until quite recently. Well, the th thing about the Jack Russell Terrier is a breed that's been around for a long time, but it is, it's a very popular show breed uh, in overseas countries. And I'm not at all surprised. We saw today a really nice dog that's come into the ring, got a huge cheer from the crowd, and it is a, clearly a very good example of the breed. So it, it, it really does, obviously, it's very close to the breed standard. Yes, official recognition only last year, the Jack Russell Terrier. Hard to believe when there have been so many of us are called Jack Russell Terriers on sofas at home. <laughs> Well, actually, it was an interesting experience because it's a breed we're so familiar with, and I was somewhat proud to see the breed out there competing at the highest level. Now, with the roots in the working terriers of the British Isles, the Jack Russell Terrier was actually developed in Australia. They should stand about 10 to 12 inches at the shoulder, as distinct from the Parson Russell Terrier, which is taller, 12 to 14 inches. We're looking for a strong, active, live working terrier. Flat skull, drop ears, and just look at the intelligence in that expression. Nice to see the breed being recognised and shown. Yeah, it's the very first time for the breed and it's uh, the very first time for seeing me in UK. I feel really emotional because even if I already won a pair of best of breeding craft, with a terrier is something special.